youngins. Uh, first cold snap of the winter. I've been a bit quiet. To be honest, I've been in a funny mucking food for quite a while now. For some reason. I've done extensive pellet testing. The CP2. Remington Express, a new gun. Some, are, some during Storm Babat. Remington, Remington. You get the picture. Remington. That's where he started to get better. That's about the best from him, which was at 17 yards with Gold Star 8.64 pellets. That's some early ones. And then just lately, I've been having a bit of fun with the CP2. gone a bit retro with this. I fitted um, a laser sight. That I bought just recently for the, the little Gamo P65 I think it is. Little blowback 177 pistol. Um, yeah. The other one I got on here is from about the mid 90s. I had that first on the Walther P88 pistol, uh, which never had dovetails. Um, but it was on an adapter rail. It's a holographic sight. It works with a uh, prism, catches the sunlight, which shines on a coloured lens, a piece of burst back. Keep both eyes open. One eye looks through the lens and the other looks at the red dot on the target. Cheapest chips, about £7.50 or something, I think I'd pay for that. And I'm currently shooting this at 8 yards, a good ratting distance, out through the shed door into the target. Good bit of fun. Got a hell of a following, easily modified. Comes with a longer barrel. I paid about 160 quid, I think it was, about four, five, six, whatever, years ago. But getting back used to the spring gun with the recoil. Because uh, to be honest, the PCPs get a bit boring when you. When you punch a hole through the same hole as you just did before, time after time after time. I've taken a lot of footage and um, most of it ends up on the cutting room floor as they say. Yeah, editing. Uh, it's having time to do it. Uh, I seem to spend half my time trying to cure air leaks, uh, the coyote in particular. Uh, Gamo BSA, well known for filling port problems, leaking, seeping, 
I never had the problem going back donkey's years with the gunpowder stealth which I used to pump with a I had a low gun hand pump uh, he, that gun never lost air look how the crowd I got now second hand just fill it up it stays filled up Apparently the coyote the coyote it's a well known problem with the BSA gamo the, the filling port leakage I've only recently done done the coyote, my own coyote up, and it's seeping again now, which is all right because I got a bottle, I got a compressor. Apparently, Lane, the people that do the regulators, do a, a modified one, aftermarket, whatever you call it, which is supposed to be the Bob Stollocks. But um, then again, you read a report. It's not so. It's not the answer. Seventy or quid spent is not the answer. It, as long as the air doesn't wash out, it's enough for a shooting session or two. So the little Webley Eclipse or Crow MP03. Is concerned is my go to gun. What a beauty! Oh, you're late. Is it the gun, is it me? You say? Well, that's bloody good. I should have to get some more of that. Okay, I was expecting better to be honest. But I think Remington still got a bit more settling in to do. I've, I've improved the trigger, no end. I'm not holding into the gun, expecting the recoil. I'm just letting it, just letting it do what it wants to. Anyway. <laughs> 